Got a minute? Let's talk about... Some questions don't have good answers. Despite having been produced by J.J. Abrams, Overlord is not a Cloverfield movie. And it's worth getting that out of the way right up front as after the Cloverfield paradox, the fact that this isn't part of that franchise is welcome news. What's also welcome is that Overlord kicks ass. The plot centers around a small group of American soldiers during the final days of World War II who were given a mission to go into France to knock out a tower the Germans are using to block their communications. Once there, they discover a Nazi lab where they are experimenting on a serum that will bring the dead back to life. Now, if the concept of an R-rated movie about zombie Nazis sounds fun to you, this is exactly the movie you hope it is. It's almost wall-to-wall -wall action, sprinkled with some very tense scenes. There's enough character development for everyone whose well-being you care about among the main cast, so the movie has some stakes, and there's gore for days. Overlord is not high art, but what it is, is what so many movies the last few years that should and could have been similar in tone have failed to be. Fun. In present day Hollywood, a fun movie that isn't trying to be a franchise is about as bold as you can get.